Hey Nick, you studying for your interview? Yeah, I am, but I'm really nervous. I mean, I can't even invert a binary tree or reverse a linked list. Wait, when's your interview? Uh, I think it's in like five minutes. <sighs> okay, you know what? You're probably gonna fail, but if you ever get stuck, just throw a hash map at the problem. Throw a hash map? What? <sighs> okay, it's time. Hey Nick, I'm Nick with a K and I'm a senior software engineer here at Faces on Goog Appflix. Um, I'm just gonna send over a coder pad and then we can get started. Yep, sounds good. So here's the problem. Given an array of integers nums and an integer target, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target, and you can just assume that there will always be a solution. Ha! Huh. what an easy problem. I did this last night, but I'm gonna pretend I've never seen this before. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so I guess my initial approach would be to use two for loops and then iterate through the array, checking whether the sum of the current number and each of the numbers in front of it adds up to the target. Yep, that sounds like a good start. Do you want to code it up? Yeah, sure, no problem. Um, I'll start coding it up right now. And then in the event that there are no solutions, then we can just throw an error. Yeah, so that should work. And its time complexity is O of n squared because for each element, we're looping through the rest of the array to find its complement, which takes O of n time. And also the space complexity is O of one. Okay, that seems all right, but it's a bit slow. As you mentioned, it's quadratic in time. Do you think you could make it even faster? Of course, I knew this was coming. Yeah, so we can just sort the array first and then use a left and a right pointer and move those towards the middle of the array accordingly based on whether the sum is less than or greater than our target. And so the time complexity of this solution would be O of n log n because we need to sort the array. And then we also have just one pass through the array, which is O of n. And also our space complexity will be O of one. Yes, I did it. I definitely passed the interview. Well, yes, this is a bit better, but it's still kind of slow. Um, I want you to think of a solution in linear time. What? Linear time? I thought I already got the optimal solution. There's no way you can make it even faster. Hmm. Uh, well, I, uh, I guess we, we could, uh, maybe, uh, instead of doing, uh, what we had before, we could, uh, instead, uh, do, uh, uh, Nick, we only have about five minutes left, so if you can't think of a better solution, don't worry about it. Come on, Nick, think, think, what could we do? Man, I'm so stuck. Wait, stuck. If you ever get stuck, just throw a hash map at the problem. Throw a hash map at the problem. Hash map, hash map, hash map. That's it, I'll use a hash map. Yeah, so we can use a hash map. We can just iterate through the array and find the complement of each number. And if the complement already exists as a key in the hash map, we can just return the corresponding value, which is going to be an index along with our current index. And the sum of the two numbers at those indices will add up to our target. And if the uh, complement does not already exist uh, as a key in the hash map, then we're just going to store our current number along with our current index in our hash map. Yep, that sounds like a pretty good plan. Um, we only have a few more minutes though, so if you could code that up quickly, that'd be great. Yeah, sure, I can start coding it up now. And then again, as I mentioned, in the event that um, the complement does not exist in the hash map, then we're just going to store our current number along with its index in the hash map. So that should work. And in terms of time complexity, we're only looping through the array once. And since hash maps have constant lookup times, this algorithm is simply O of n in time. And our hash map would store at most n elements. So it's going to be O of n in space. Yes, I finally did it. I definitely passed now. Perfect. Well done, Nick. Um, that concludes the interview for today. Keep an eye out um, for an email to schedule your next interview. All right. Have a nice day, Nick. Thank you. You too. Wait.
Did he just say next interview? There's more?